As you may remember, Bitcoin is created by participants in the community called miners. They verify transactions in new blocks and add these to the Bitcoin blockchain. Miners keep cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in circulation by verifying and securing transactions on the blockchain. But the community, which include miners and developers, may not always agree with one another on the direction of the blockchain. When one group is adamant about a particular change, but the rest of the group disagrees, they may decide to go their own way. When this happens, it's considered a fork. The chain duplicates and splits, and the two communities go their separate ways in implementing their design solutions. Forks tend to have a political connotation, because they usually concern alternative goals and intentions for the community. Depending on the nature of decision, the fork can be categorised into hard forks and soft forks. In the case of a hard fork, the change is irreversible. It's not possible to turn a cake you've baked back into its original ingredients. This is what happened with Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. But there have been other forks, and there may be more in the future too. In other instances of forks, the community unanimously decides to make updates to the software. In these cases, the upgrade is backwards compatible and is considered a soft fork. A bit like opening a new chapter in a book. You can always go back to reread previous chapters, but there is always more to the story. Anyone can fork a coin to create a new one, as most of the projects are open source, but it's easier said than done due to the technical requirements of making changes to a blockchain software.